Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2. I'm your host, Madam Madigan. So in the previous episode, we did our first gather of the first little sister. Um... Did I already introduce myself? I think so. If, Children have been yeah, I, I'm pretty sure man before. No, of course that I already introduced myself. Good, I'm sure. Well, oh well. Be afraid of him if he should visit you. He's a great big coward, so I'll tell you what to do. Hush, hush, hush. Here comes the boogeyman. Don't let him come too close to you. He'll catch you if he can. These glaciers will come running when you place the little sister down to gather. Prepare first and oh that bogeyman will run away. And let's listen. Shoo shoo and stick him with a pin. Bogeyman will very nearly jump out of his skin. Say buzz buzz, just like the wasp that stings. Bogeyman will think you are an elephant with wings. Hush, hush, hush. Here comes the bogeyman. Tell Okay, so Stanley Poole, an ex reporter with connections to Sophia Lamb, wants to, wants to prevent Lamb from getting her hands on the atom contained in the corpses of Dionysus Park. It seems that the atom itself contains memories of events that Stanley would rather Lamb not know. I wonder what kind of events. He wants you to deal with the little sisters in Dionysus Park to make sure his secrets stay buried. How you do this is up to you. Find all three little sisters, deal with their big daddies, and rescue or harvest the little sisters. Do this and Stanley will unlock the track to Fontaine Futuristics, bringing you one step closer to Eleanor. And we're going to listen to... Check out the security board. Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked. Where? Oh, yeah. Down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. That wasn't the way. That we wanted to listen to. Greetings. Here it is. Uh, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> Before the locals take stopped low, reading and started low. finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. We're going up to the park, and we're going to listen to Park Was My Home. Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity. Cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Uh, I don't really want to change anything. Bear ammo. We need. That is a real swing. You love it. Keep you gonna have <laughs>
Let's just stick with phosphorus buffs. How about some cyclo Fucking things never work, never! Caliber rounds and five dollars. Tate Merlot. Buck can't carry any more. Bandages, hop up cola, pep bar. Right here. See it glow? I do see it glow, dear, but I'm sorry. Fifty caliber, some drill fuel, canned beans, vitamins for rivet and five dollars, six fifty caliber and five dollars. I'm all you got, baby. Coffee, canned fruit. Some money. Oh, potato chip. Oh shit! What the fuck? Six dollars. Bacon sleep on his back. There am I. What did she? We'll need her milk for a while. Frag grenade. You just look like you're chilling, man. Like you're not even dead. Just sitting there, you know, all, all fun. Some money. Spare ammo and some more money. Some trap rivet, some trap rivet. <laughs> We want anything? Yeah. Solid slug. We need some of this. Uh, proximity mark. Take Merlot. The voice of the self. Let's listen. Awareness of self is no miracle, Eleanor. It is a trick of the gene, an endless inner refrain asking, what's in it for me? To serve the world, we must grow deaf to the self. Are you ready? Now, stop listening to my voice. Stop listening. I can't stop. stop. I'm sorry. Difficult, isn't it? Human verbal cues are defensive coloration, 
camouflage. Play this recording until you no longer hear the words. Then you may observe the people for who they are. Hold up, I think I hit something on my, on, on my TV. Hello? 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 Shit. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello?
you to Daddy's giving you stores of party. <laughs> Sullying our Daddy, are you taking me home too? We aren't going to heal until we have dealt with you, bitch. I hear a creaking of the absconder, the innocent. How could you? I hope it was a fun night. Three dollars, shotgun. Let's do... Electrobolt 2. Fresh water, fresh water. Potted meat, real fuel. <sighs> fresh water. Vitamins and seven drill fuel. Shotgun. Yeah, we should hack. Fifty caliber. Okay, so what else do is money do we have? Nope, not enough to buy anything. We should get, we should have at least three first aid.
drill fuel. I think we can go back. Proximity mine. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank goodness we saved. Complete research on tough enemies for combat bonuses against them. Children. Apparently, Imago Fine Arts is a great place to, uh, to gather, but we are going to save that. Actually, no, we are going to do Imago Fine Arts now. talkative right now, I'm concentrating. Didn't it work? My whirly bird go.
here, I little one. Other daddies. Possibility. Um, drill reflector upgrade. A large electromagnetic dynamo is powered by the drill's rotation. Incoming projectiles will be reflected back at attackers while the drill is spinning. Uh, additional scope provides increased zoom. Allowing you to aim with pinpoint accuracy. A double revolver mechanism allows six shots before reloading. Um, an internal heating mechanism heats rivets to white hot temperature before they are fired. Ooh! Kinetic energy. Ran out of the wall. Let's get the rivet. Oldie toy, newie toy. Oh, oldie toy, newie toy. Real fuel. Let me get back to there. The rivets look weird. Oh, yeah. Heavy rivet. Dang it. Mode Hector. 
turret proximity mine shit Proximity mine. Party machines. A hack turret or bot can be your greatest friend. Make that friendship last longer with the new Hardy machine tonic from Ryan Industries. Hacking a turret or bot raises its max health. Let's do that in place of Eve Saver. Four rivet. Oh, I completely forgot. Okay, so give me a like, subscribe, um, I will see you in the next episode. Madam Madigan, signing off. Bye.